Well, here we are, folks. Welcome to the Morning Mountains. I'm behind me. Um, a view from my house, the REC. Um, today, what I'm going to do is uh, in Whitebeard's kitchen is a labadder curry. Um, it's chicken curry, um, really mild, uh, flavoursome. So let's get cooking. Okay, folks. So what I have in here is roughly about um, five uh, tablespoons of coconut oil um, and also two tablespoons of butter. Um, what I'm going to do first is fry the chicken. Just heat the oil on a hot heat. So what I'll do is I'll turn the chicken down to uh, medium. And I only basically want to brown the chicken. So give it a good turn around. We'll turn it to kind of medium high. <laughs> I'll turn it up to. Um, but closer to medium, I suppose. I'll get this brown and I'll come back in uh, a few minutes. Okay, folks, so um, what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to move the chicken um, onto a plate in the interim. Um, I've just got it um, partially cooked. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to brown your chicken, what you could have done, you could marinate it um, just very simply with um, two tablespoons of corn flour, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I did add um, roughly about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper into this um, when I was away. Uh, an egg. Um, and let it um, and just mix it well and then marinate it if you want it kind of brown but um, really that's that's your own preference if you want to do that and what I'm using is I said obviously it's best for chicken um, it's a kilogram of chicken so I have this now up at a high heat um, and just not really to evaporate it off so what I have here I'm going to add in three medium red onions I've, I've chopped them as finely as possible um, and what I want these is, is to get these uh, kind of like a, a golden um, brown colour. I'm just using, you could empty this oil and then start the oil and the butter um, and just add more oil, um, fresh oil and butter. I'm not because I think some of the, the juice um, or chicken juices will come out in this. So I'm going to turn this down to kind of medium high, which means uh, the liquid will evaporate. Um, I'm just going to eyeball this um, and this is hopefully help take some of the moisture out of the onion. A teaspoon. I'm using rock salt. I'll add that in. And it's probably going to take eight minutes probably for the onions to kind of get to um, the colour that I hope uh, will be like a golden brown colour. Okay folks so here we are. I've got the onions a nice golden colour and I've just been constantly stirring this. Um, I'm going to turn this down now to a medium. What I'm going to add in is four small to medium um, tomatoes. I, I want to soften the tomatoes down so I kind of want to saute them. So I'll turn it up to a medium, medium low and again just keep constantly stirring. I um, don't want anything sticking to the bottom. That's the last thing I want. I'm kind of cooking this curry in a bit of a hurry. Pardon the pun because I have a the white this evening. I'll be back once the tomatoes have softened and um, we'll add some more of the other ingredients in. So what I've done is just added in what I had done earlier. I had one and a half tablespoons of ginger, one and a half tablespoons of garlic, cloves, three green chilies. Put those into the pestle and mortar and give it a pound of them. So I put that in. I'm just going to saute that off now for uh, a few moments just to take out the rawness of the uh, garlic. And, and, and ginger. So now for the spices now to go in. I have one tablespoon of coriander, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one um, tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder I'm using. You could use a red, an ordinary red chili powder, not hot. Um, and as I say, obviously the uh, tablespoon of coriander. So that's, um, and, the, and that's going in. You know, and most Indian curries that you've seen me doing, maybe the garam masala would go in. In, in the majority of cases, maybe towards uh, the end, just to add that bit of umami flavour. Stir that round on a low, um, just to take the rawness out of the spices. That's um, the spices well incorporated. You can see the oil separating. That's great. So now what I'm going to add in, and I'm, I'm putting this all together. Um, so what I have here going in, hopefully what you can see, I have um, it's three um, tablespoons of the good old tomato ketchup. So. There we are, I did my chicken chasney with that and uh, a quarter of a cup um, of um, tomato puree, tomato paste. So that's that in. So I just want to stir this round a little bit. And again, this is taking the tartness um, out of the uh, tomato paste. And you can see now slowly but surely that kind of almost deepening red color with the tomato ketchup and the tomato paste. Absolutely wonderful. And the 
the aroma is is fantastic. Very simple, you know, not overly uh, done with spices to be honest. What I'm going to do now is, is add in roughly half a cup of water. Just eyeballing that. I'll turn that up now to um, a medium. Just give this a stir for um, a few seconds. Making sure everything is well mixed together. And there we are, scraping around my little edges where if you don't let it burn, probably slightly a bit more cooked than um, but adds wonderful flavour. You wouldn't want to lose any flavour at all. Now, very simply, again I can see the oil separating, which is great. Just in to add the chicken in and just give that make sure that chicken is well coated. In the wonderful red looking um, dark red gravy that's with the tomato and the ketchup does not look absolutely wonderful okay so what I also have here now going to go in is I have two good sized red and orange pepper you could use green authentically probably it is green um, but whatever pepper you have um, you know, by all means add it in. There's a bit more grassy type flavour from green peppers. I didn't have any today. So I have a red and an orange pepper. I um, have those kind of just diced. Um, not overly fine but bite sized kind of pieces. Give that a good stir again. So you have that on a medium heat as well. Turn the pot around. Make sure I get all the edges scraped. And anything from up the sides of the pot. Um, I'm going to add in um, roughly about a tablespoon and a half of honey. There we go. Add some sweetness. You could use probably sugar um, if you wish. You know, um, maybe a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so again <clears throat> I'm going to add in roughly about um, a cup, a couple and a quarter of um, I'm using boiling water, so to bring the temperature down, give that a, a good mix. Um, I'm going to turn the heat kind of to medium, medium low. Give that a good mix. The next ingredient, um, and it depends, um, really, you could use single cream if you wish. Um, I just, by chance, unfortunately have um, a double cream, heavy cream, as it would be called in the United States. So I'm going to add in roughly about a hundred and 20 mils. Mix it well. Okay, and um, this is definitely a first for me, um, and this is why I looked at this recipe, um, had read about it, um, and I think it's absolutely wonderful. And again, it's like any recipes that I've looked at, um, there may be slight variations. So, what's going in here? I've grated cheese, so it's roughly um, a quarter of a cup um, of grated cheese. Um, and I want to make sure that that's well incorporated and kind of melts in to this absolutely wonderful curry. It smells absolutely beautiful. As I say, um, I won't be here this evening. Hopefully the folks at home. I'm saying it very loudly because my better half, who is my editor, is working away writing a novel. She's a ghostwriter um, and she's in the next room making sure she hears me that I want some left after all this hard labour when I come back. And now, the very final touch, um, roughly, and I'm just going to crumble this a little bit more, is one tablespoon um, of kasuri methi, or fenugreek leaves. Um, crumble that down. And just the smell of um, that going in is absolutely beautiful. So, mix that well through. And I have to be honest, I'm, I'm, going, I'm dying to have a taste. So, before I depart um, and get ready, um, this, I'm going to taste it. I, I, I really can't help it. I'm absolutely salivating. Um, hopefully not too near the pot. That's the last of the folks here would want. So, just to taste this. How could I describe this? Um, Outside, outside of saying, do try this, for sure. It's just like a slightly spicier version, almost, of, of butter chicken. Um, only not so much the butter. 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to add another, just to make it a wee bit more decadent. You don't have to, this is just me, so my slight variation. Probably about another um, 80 mils of cream. I had a tablespoon and a half of honey, I'm just going to add another half, half a tablespoon. There we are. And again, you don't have to do this little bit that I did add, that little bit more cream and honey in. Okay folks, so that's a uh, about bird curry uh, done. I can almost pronounce that. Um, so, so, bye for now. Enjoy. And please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Have a good one. Rock on. Take care of yourself. Look after those around you. Please do try this absolutely wonderful curry. Um, you'll maybe not see it on the plate. I don't know on this. Uh, uh, hold on. Is it the show? The channel? The channel. It's a channel. <laughs> it's a YouTube channel. But it's a cooking show. Yeah, but it's not on TV, so it's not a show, it's a channel. Still not what I'm saying. This is all gonna shit. Right, what are we saying again? I don't know! Uh, why? Why are we doing this? Tell me where you're going. Wait, what are you saying or am I saying it? We'll look over there as if like he's over there and say, right Trevor, we'll take it over from here. Right Trevor, we'll take it from here. Cheers! Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. A lot of flavour, a lot of yeah. spices. Very like buttery and creamy. Right, well, we advise you to go home and if you're not already, cook it yourself, yourself. try it, and rock on. <laughs> okay, got it!